This is the hardest math problem in the entire world. And in this video, I will be solving it. Evelyn Hello. and Josh Hello. and Hello. six other people Hi. go through a doorway oh. one at a time. Hello. Hey. Now, in how many ways can eight people go through the doorway if Josh goes through the doorway after Evelyn with no one in between? To settle this, I got two random subscribers who will compete to answer this question the fastest. So it's actually quite easy to answer this question, obviously. So we just draw the eight people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We draw the doorway. So that's one possibility. Then we draw the second possibility. Yep. It's actually... Yeah. So you don't need to count each one individually. We know there's eight people going through the doorway. So we can just do eight factorial. Eight people, one doorway. So easy. What the... Ugh. No, 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 no. I will show you how to actually solve this problem. So, we've got eight people. That is correct. We can draw the eight people. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, we don't need to draw this many, many times. You don't want to do that. So, we just need to be Josh to be after Evelyn. So we'll draw Evelyn here, and then Josh here. Unrestricted possibilities, this would be eight people, so it's eight factorial combinations. But, we treat these two people as one unit. These are one unit, and then these are six units because Josh will always have to be after Evelyn. And it's just one because we can't switch these around. So now one plus six is seven. Now to find the, po the total possibilities, we make it seven factorial, which off the top of my head is about 5,040. Easy peasy. <laughs> so I wrote a program in Scratch that will show that will show every possible combination. Yeah, there's a lot. This is where the math gets crazy. Find the number of ways that eight people can go through the doorway if Josh goes through the doorway after Evelyn. Now notice this. It is not mentioned that Josh has to be directly after Evelyn. There can be any number of people in between. And now, there's an easy way to solve this problem and a hard way. Let's start with the hard way. So. We'll start by drawing some boxes. <laughs> Hang in there. Okay, so I've got seven boxes. Now I'll draw Evelyn here. She's first. Then Josh. And now I'll draw this another like eight times. Now notice for the next one, we move Josh back a space. We move Josh back again. And he's back again. So We'll just repeat this process until we get to the last one. Okay, and the last one, Evelyn and Josh will be right next to each other. So notice this. See in the first one, Evelyn could be, be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven places for her to go here. So we'll write seven here. Then here it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six places here. One, two, three, four, five, five. And one, two, three, four, five again. I counted wrong, just uh. Yeah, I put nine here for some reason. Uh, pretend I didn't make that mistake. <laughs> There's one, two, three, four spaces. Then it'll be three, two, and then here there's only one. So what we do, we don't times these together, we plus them. So we get seven plus six plus five plus four plus three plus two plus one, <clears throat> which is about 28. There's 28. And then, now for part two, I'll have to rub this off. <laughs> okay, so from drawing those boxes, we found there was 28 ways for, all, for the combinations where Evelyn could move to be before Josh. And now, remember from last question, how we had Evelyn, Josh, and then the six other people, we treated them as one unit, but now we'll just be taking them away since we already accounted for them with the 28 here. 
So we just don't care about them. We get six people here, six factorial combinations. So now we can combine these by timesing them, not plusing them. So we get 28 times six factorial, which off the top of my head is 20,160. Now that's how you solve it the hard way. Okay, let's do this the easy way. I'll put a timer up for 30 seconds because that's all I need. So there are eight factorial unrestricted combinations. Now, Josh has to be after Evelyn. So in half the combinations, Josh will be after Evelyn. The other half, Evelyn will be after Josh. They can't be in the same spot because that's not how people work. So we divide it by two because only in half the times will Josh be after Evelyn. And that off the top of my head is 20,160 combinations. So uh, unrestricted over half of them will be wrong, so we get rid of them. Here is a summary. The answer for part one is 5,040. The answer for part two is 20,160. Now the hardest question. Who thought of this? Like who cares about how eight people can go through a doy? Bye. <laughs>